Hey guys, it's D here. We got it all set up, all 15 transistors. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and see what it'll do. Off of each transistor, we're running the uh, 5408, a set of 5408s, so it'll protect the uh, power from flowing back into the collector up to 6 amps. We're running a uh, 33 ohm resistor off of each base of the transistors. Three separate coils set up right here. Uh, handle each bank of five. Let's go ahead and uh, fire this up and see. We've got the meter on here so we can read the frequencies and duty cycle. Uh, cell is sitting at 2.3 just in the water now. No amp draw. It's zero. So let's fire it on and see what she comes up to. It's barely moved. Uh, about 500 milliamps. Let's see what kind of reaction we get in the cell. Here it's starting already. Cell voltage went up to 20.1. Frequency is at 5.57. Duty cycle 76.6. Let this run for a little bit. Some really good activity. At the cell, it's just boiling out of there. It's just fresh tap water, first time it's ever been used. Cloud width is getting pretty good size already. Let's come back over here and check and see if we've got any temperature issues. First transistor 73. Second one, 72. Third one, 71. Fourth, 73. 73. 72. 72. 73. 73 again. 73. Been to the constant, it's been 73. 72, 71, 72, 71, 71. I'd say everything's running pretty cool. And the transistors, or just give me the resistors are at 71. The pot's at 72. Let's see what the temperature is at the connections on the cell here. Off the negative. 69 off the positive 69 down the cell water 68 everything is really cool but some nice heavy deep activity here just roll out of there again this is just straight tap water nothing in it you can actually if you listen real close you can hear it Cloud on it already. Cell voltage has uh, settled down to 19.9. We're running two, uh, one battery I got from Daryl. That's one really good battery. And my little old uh, gate battery that I got uh, donated. Frequency. Settled down to 5.78 and duty cycle 76.4, fluctuating 76.5. No heat, heat issues, and let's check the amps one more time. You can see that. Yeah, it's just off of the tick mark on the zero. So I'm guessing probably. 400, 300 milliamps. It's not even close. It's just barely off the tick mark. So it's a pretty decent reaction right there. Both these batteries they were about 12.97. Uh, uh, the other one was like 12.85 when I 
hooked him up 24 volts. It's doing pretty good. Now I guess the next step is working our way up to uh, 36 volts and see if we get a little bit better reaction. But it's fluctuating back and forth from 20 volts uh, to 19.9. See if it actually increases here. And pretty nice little cloud of it's all hydrogen. So we'll post this on the forum there so you guys can see what's going on. Alright, we'll catch you later.